Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I'm working on a Lenovo laptop and I'm going to show you how to address some of the beep codes that you may get when you go to start your computer up. Uh, sometimes you go to start up and then your computer beeps at you and, and, and it won't start. Try to figure out what pattern these codes are, are beeping in. Um, some of the most common Lenovo beep codes in groups of three or four have to do with your RAM. So that's what I'm going to show you how to deal with today is, is the RAM error. However, if you have a different kind of beep code, check the frequently asked questions below. As I see people that ask about different codes, I'll, I'll put them in the description and I'll add what they mean. Hopefully the more people uh, show me that they're experiencing these problems, I'll, I'll add them to save you some time. Um, if you don't see your uh, pattern in the description, leave me a comment and I will get back to you a few times a day at least. So assuming it's one of these groupings of three or four beep codes, again, most, most often that has to do with your RAM. I'll show you how to test for that right now. Uh, I'm gonna flip the computer over. If you're lucky, your computer, you'll have some uh, easy access panels or doors that you can take off and gain easy, quick access to your RAM or hard drive. In this case, I do not. So I have to remove my entire bottom panel. Um, if you're doing this, watch out for a few things. Make sure you get any screws that may be hidden under the battery. If you have a removable battery, take that out first. Uh, if you have a CD drive on the side, sometimes they hide screws under there. Um, and sometimes they'll even hide screws under your rubber feet. Uh, so watch out for all those places. If you want to be super safe, look up a disassembly video on your exact model computer. So there's your RAM, right there. Uh, most computers will have two RAM slots, some will have one. If you have only one RAM port, you'll have to purchase a good stick of RAM to perform this test. Uh, but we have two, so it's a little easier for us. First of all, RAM, like other components, can come loose. So try to reseat it, uh, reseat, S-E-A-T. Uh, what that involves is unplugging them and then plugging them back, uh, making sure that they're secure this time and then trying to restart your computer. So the way that RAM is held in is by these two little spring-loaded arms on, a, on either side. You pull these arms apart and the RAM should just pop up like that. And then you can slide it out like that. So RAM has a long side, a long port and a short port. So it can only go in this way. You, you can't put it in sideways or uh, upside down. So take it out, put it in, make sure it's nice and snug and then just press down and it snaps in. So do that with both sticks of RAM, and then try to restart your computer, see if, if, if they just needed to be secured. If not, then come back in here, and we're going to test to see which one's bad. Uh, very rare that both of them go at the same time, kind of like a headlight in a car. Uh, so we're going to take one out, pull these arms apart, pull it out, try to start your computer. If your computer starts without those beep codes, it means that this stick of RAM is good, this one was bad, you've got to replace this one. Uh, I have a video link below in the description on how to purchase the correct RAM for your computer. Uh, check that out because not all RAM matches all computers. Uh, so you need to get the right kind. And if you have to replace it, why not upgrade in the process? Uh, make your computer better for the work you do. Um, if your computer still is beeping at you, put this stick back in, nice and secure, snap it down, take this one out. Turn the computer off, try to restart it. And then same thing. If it starts up fine, you know that this stick is bad, this stick was good. So that's how you would address most of these beep codes in, because most of them that I have found anyway have to do with a faulty stick of RAM that has gone bad. So that's how you would deal with most of those three or, or four beep codes in, in a Lenovo. Again, if you have any questions, leave them below. If your beep codes are not exactly the same as mine, leave them below. Uh, check the frequently asked questions, see if we've gone over that with anybody else. Uh, but like and share if this is helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.